What is up guys, welcome back once again to our Digimon Let's Play. Hope everybody's doing grand today because we have some fantastic Digimon adventures as always. But as of most of the time, you know, sometimes we're going to be running about fucking farming woodmon or, you know, picking up crops or doing boring shit. But today, I think we have some good battles lined up at least. So, yeah, welcome back, guys. We are here in Modcape once again. We did a bit of hunting around Modcape yesterday. We were looking for some pirates for some treasure. We were speaking to Marine Angemon, the Mega Digimon. We were talking to Vikemon, the Mega Digimon. Obviously, Demi Devimon is at the source of all this because we are hunting to find the... I think it's like the, the golden chalice or something. Something that he thinks is hidden here in Mod Cape. And when we find it, we have to bring it to him and then split the rewards. So, I think today we're going to hopefully be able to battle the Pirate King. This time, if he decides to talk to us or not, we're probably going to have a hunt around. Finish off some of these quests. We're going to sort out Marine Angemon. We're going to sort out Demi Devimon here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully get up to some other things. We might even... Um, we might even find ourselves in a brand new biome, whether or not that happens, I am not sure, but hopefully we can get around to that. Anyways, the episode starts right now, here we go. Alright folks, so here we are. Now our episode is going to kick off today with Demi Devimon. At the end of the last episode I spoke to Vicmon or we spoke to Vicmon together and then after that I think it was Joe again. Did Joe get sick? Somebody got sick. It was either Joe or Sam. I'm pretty sure it was Joe. It, it, it wasn't like a sick, it was like a battle injury after we fought against Talmon. Remember we had that first EXE Digivolve? I know you guys remember but sometimes I have to jog my own memory because I'm a dumbass. But anyways, I had to take the guys back to the town. Collected all the stuff, picked up all the items, sold all the items, bought some more items but not that much and then deposited a bunch of stuff in the bank. So, I came back here, we've spoken to Demi Devimon who now says that the former pirate captain Vicmon is somewhere here in Mod Cape. So I'm hoping that now uh, that procs Vicmon and we can actually battle against him. The good thing about heading back to the city last night, despite the fact that it, is an, it feels like an enormous waste of time and energy, um, for me at least, luckily you guys didn't have to sit through that but... It also meant that we were able to uh, sleep for a day and kind of reset the um, reset the, the day clock. So it's now Saturday morning in the top left, you guys can see that. And that means that we can get our EXE refreshed because I'm pretty sure for the Vicmon fight, we will need our EXE Digivolution. Now, <laughs> I, I forgot, like speaking truthfully guys, I forgot just how broken EXE Digivolution is in this game. Um, I think it stands for Extra Cross Digivolution and it's basically when your two Megas and yourself fuse into one Digimon. I mean, we, suppose, like, our character, um, Takato, he, he Digivolves with the Digimon. I, I don't know, it's kind of strange, but um, it is obviously a thing at some point. I don't know, I've not watched all of the Digimon series, so I don't know if it happens in some of them, but I'm guessing it probably does. But uh, yeah, it's it's very, very strong. My main, the point I was trying to make is that you become very, very, very strong. Strong enough to absolutely destroy a lot of the hard challenges in this game. Which is so weird because 9 times out of 10 before you get EXE Digivolution, a lot of the fights in this game can be very, very difficult. I mean, Machine Drummond probably stopped a lot of players in their tracks, especially those who weren't really like hardcore into Digimon or they didn't watch any guides. They probably got to Machine Drummond the first couple of times and thought, how the fuck can I beat this guy? Do you know, if they haven't been training properly, if they've been using the gym, it can burn a lot of people out, believe me. So, for the for us to be able to now EXE and absolutely smash a lot of these fights that are actually very, very difficult, it's kind of strange. It's kind of weird. It's an odd balance, but, you know, we're not going to complain about it. it. It means that if we can recruit Digimon a lot faster, we can progress with our main story and then obviously um, get to some of the more exciting fights inside the game anyway, so... We're not, I'm not complaining, I'm just, it is, a, it is an odd topic. There will be times where we EXE fuse and a, a battle that should be really difficult becomes really easy. And I think that Vicmon is going to be one of them. Now, I could be wrong about that, he might give us a run for his money. Um, I am pretty sure that Vicmon might even have some um, spicy things in the bag that you guys will see. Um, <laughs> I'll show you that, I won't talk about it too much, but yeah. Vicmon is a very hard challenge and I'm pretty sure that the first time I fought against him... 
I, I couldn't beat him without EXE and EXE actually became available in the battle and I didn't even know it was in the game, you know, again, it was me you play through it, the, the game forces you to EXE in the tutorial, right, so if, if I was paying attention to the tutorial I would obviously know, but when I actually played through this game the first time and I fought against Vic Mon, I was getting destroyed, I was burning tons and tons of resources, I had a lot more time played in the game at that point than I do now, if that makes sense. So I had been, let's say this this campaign that we're playing just now, right? Let's say we have like 30 hours in this campaign, right? Or something like that, probably less. But I, I was at like 50 hours when I fought Vicmon in my first playthrough. I had a lot, I'd been through a lot more Digimon. We had done a lot more stuff. Um, and I had a lot more items. So I was like throwing large recoveries at my Digimon trying to keep them alive. And then EXE became available. And I was like, what in the fuck is this? And it happened and my mind was just blown because I was like, wow, I didn't even know this was a thing. But <laughs> yeah, true story, I promise. It was just, uh, it was insane. But anyways, we are going to fight him. This time we do know that we can EXE, which will uh, make it a lot less pressured, which is a bit of a shame because I like the tense battles. I like when there's a lot riding on it. It makes very, it makes it very fun. It makes it very kind of, oh my God, you know, if you have more to lose when you, if, if something goes wrong, then the, uh, the victory feels that more satisfying, right? That's just my opinion on it anyway. Maybe you guys don't give a shit. Now, I want to get to this item over here, but I get the feeling that these Siegemon are not going to get away from us, unfortunately. One thing I, w I wanted to talk to you guys about as well, this is kind of interesting, but keep an eye on uh, Garurumon here, guys. He's got a, a move. It's not that spinning attack. It is called uh, Chaos Cloud. Now, when, when Garurumon uses Chaos Cloud, sometimes it looks like it doesn't actually go off, which is really strange. Um, he's using the spin attack over and over, probably because he... Um, Probably because he has, the, um, the he's been set to save mana in battle to conserve mana and fight conservatively, so maybe that's why he's not using it. But um, yeah, when he uses Chaos Cloud, it looks like a really, it's one of our most powerful moves, and it has, um, it supposedly has a very big AOE kind of range. But sometimes it feels like it doesn't go off, and it's kind of weird. Um, I think it's just what the graphics look like, you know the animation for it looks a bit strange, so that's something we need to keep an eye on, because if he's burning all this mana and he's not even using the fucking move properly, then I would be really pissed, but we're going to stock back up on MP before we go into the next area, we'll use all of our discs just now, because it's better to do this than me throwing them out constantly in the battle, plus as you guys just saw, that was like one, one or two fights we've done on the way here, and we've used up pretty much all of our MP, so yeah. We've got another pirate treasure here, we're going to pick this up for sure, pirate junk, let's see what we got here. Um, somebody's peg leg or something. The dark pirate box, apparently, sounds a bit more exciting than the blue bottle that we found yesterday. We do actually have a couple of pirate items on us, if I show you guys real quick in the inventory. If I pop down here. Um, inside here we actually have a, a dark pirate box, we just picked this up. We also have an old telescope uh, and a blue pirate bottle. So we have a couple of things. Most of these, if not all of them, are for uh, Black Gatimon who is in here. So we're definitely going to exchange these in just a second. I'm pretty sure our inventory is getting a bit full, so if I can't pick this up I wouldn't be surprised. Um, let's have a look here. Your inventory is full, yeah, just what I thought, okay. So what we're going to need to do is probably, there's a, actually an orange banana hiding in the corner again as well. Um, I don't think we have any orange bananas, so we wouldn't be able to pick that up either. What we'll do here is we'll give some of our useless stuff to Black Gatamon here, and then um, we'll see what she gives us, and then we'll pick up pick up the rest. Excuse me. Now, one of these items is actually for Marine Angemon, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know what one it is. I think it's the telescope, probably. We get 300 bits for that. Oh God. I think what will what will probably end up happening, guys, is a. Uh, we will probably end up avoiding Black Gatamon's item quest from now on because the, the reward she gives us is very, very mediocre. Um, probably less than mediocre. It's pretty shit, in all honesty. But, um, do we have anything else to give you, my friend? No, I don't think so. So, what I'm going to do is pick this one up. Even though I just said we were going to avoid this, right? I'm going to have to see if this is going to be anything better. It's another pirate ball. Alright, I think that confirms that. It's nice getting 300 bits thrown at us, um, if this was the early stages of the game then it, obviously we would be very chuffed to pick this up because it's pretty much the equivalent to a small recovery, almost. I think a small recovery was like, maybe it was, was it 250? 250 or 500, I think it's 250, I can't remember, but anyways, not anymore, we can battle against Ultimate and Mega Digimon in the further away areas and we can earn like 5000 bits a fight, so this 300 bit seems very very insignificant, but... 
Anyways, it is what it is. We'll give this to our... That's probably the last time we'll talk to Black Gatamon unless we come across something exciting. We might end up just picking up treasure and then tossing it, as ridiculous as that is. But here we are. We're back in the mod cape. Now, I think that this time when we speak to Vicmon, he should actually interact with us properly. Now, what I'm going to do is, yesterday we ran past Vicmon into the next area of the flagship. The, the flagship is the next area of Mod Cape, okay? Through this door up the back. We're going to do that again because I want to speak to Marine Angemon before I fight Vicmon. Because what's going to happen is once we end the fight with Vicmon, if he doesn't defeat us and we're still here on the boat, then the Talmon and the Agamon are probably going to bum rush us. And if they do that, there is a chance that if we are fucked up enough, we or if we are, you know, entirely fucked up, we might have to actually just autopilot out of here. Now, I don't want to really autopilot because I've just come all this way and stuff, but just to be safe, I'm going to complete the Marine Angemon jobs first, I think. It just makes sense. It means that we can kind of kill two birds with one stone in this journey, so that is my, my logic behind this. If we were strong enough, I would not worry about fighting against the Talmon and the Vicmon, but remember, we can't EXE twice in one day, guys, and we are definitely going to have to EXE for the Vicmon fight, so... If we were to bang into the other guys after, we would have to fight just using our, our regular Digimon and our items. And as the Talmon fight is very, very difficult, it probably wouldn't work out for us. It definitely wouldn't be profitable uh, anyways. So here, we've got Marine Angemon. We hand over the telescope. One awesome antique, but still, that isn't the thing I dropped, you know. I'm sorry, but would you keep on looking for me? So now we have to find once more Marine Angemon's last item. Now, I don't know if the spawn point for Marine Angemon is random. It isn't this item here, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure this is a... Uh, Red Pirate Bandana, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is for uh, Gatomon. So, yeah, I can't remember where exactly it is that, um, sorry, Marine Angemon's items are. I don't know where it is, but it's probably close by, so we're just going to have a little hunt. Um, what I'll do is I'll keep you guys with me. Um, oh, that puts down her fatigue, I just realised that. That's pretty insane. So, green stocks actually reduce fatigue, I never noticed that before. So yeah guys, what we'll do is, I'll keep you guys with me, we'll have a hunt for this um, last thing for Marine Angemon. And if we uh, if we can find it, great, and if not, I will save you guys some time. Like, if, if it's not in the next few rooms, for example, if we have to go further afield, I will go find it, and then I'll catch you guys back up once we um, acquire it, okay? Because I don't want you guys sitting through me wandering around the boat for fucking 15, 20 minutes, because it's not that exciting, in all honesty. But, that being said, hopefully it's close by. I think the last one we picked up, yeah, I think this is it here, actually. Now, I know what item we're looking for, and I'll tell you guys if this is it. Let's have a look. There's something here. This could be the item that Ma Marine Angemon lost. We pick it up, um, and it is a heart ring. Okay, interesting. So, we're going to head back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that is not what Marine Angemon is actually wanting. I was hoping that we had... I was hoping that this quest was like a best of three kind of thing. Like, you bring her back three items, and then the third one is the one that she wants, but I guess it's not. I guess we have to do a little bit more grafting. Which honestly kind of sucks. I'm going to catch back to Marine Angemon and see you guys in a, sl in a little second. Alright, here we are back with the little spider monkey. What's up, bro? Oh, could it be? Did you find the thing I dropped? We give her the heart rink. I just love hearts. I love them. But I sure didn't drop one, you know? Isn't that convenient? Again, she keeps all the items. She doesn't, she doesn't give us them back. We could have probably sold that to the fucking Gatomon. Sorry, but would you keep looking for me? I guess so. Now, guys, the reason I uh, I wanted to pull you back in is because something else really funny happened in this area, and you guys are going to see it right this second. So if I pan the camera around, we actually have this little fellow, or this big fellow, whichever way you describe it, waiting in this area. This is another King Digimon, and I think that we can probably fight this guy. Uh, let's tangle with him and see how he gets on. This is the King Bottomon. He's level 24. He has a couple of important moves, so maybe we can pick that up. We are going to 2v1 him. And I would hope to God that we can win this without a EXE Digivolution. Now, he will be a tough fight, being a King Digimon, obviously, not to be underestimated. But uh, if we can defeat the King Red Vegemon with two Ultimate Digimon, then we should be able to... Uh, or, in fact, it was with their two Mega we fought the, the Red Vegemon, actually, now that I think about it. Now, this guy has actually angered Garurumon, so for the time being, I can't actually keep a... I can't control Garurumon, but it looks like this guy's doing, like, no damage to us whatsoever anyway. I'm just going to try and save up with the save up for a limit break here and try and get um, Crusader Mon's points up. So I'm going to dodge that one and then this one here I'm going to try and land, which we get. That's not enough, we're too short. We've got 48, but now we can. Okay, so we're not going to EXE, we're just going to Womble Combo this guy in the butt. And that should be another King Digimon down. I don't know if this is going to be enough to finish him off, but it probably is. Normally these things are, are powerful enough. He's, he's just hanging on. Alright, okay, nah, this guy's doing alright. That was a double wombo, so um, 
yeah, we uh, we get him down to just a quarter HP. This fight shouldn't go on for too much longer, but yeah, that means that we've fought against two King Digis, but I think we've we've ba we've banged into like four, I think four or five. There's the so if we we ha if we count them, there's this one. There's the Toy Agamon that is down in Bonnie Resort. That's a spawn. Obviously, the King Red Vegemon in the Aguino Wastelands. There is one in Logic Volcano that I think we saw. Did we see that guy? I know where he is. I know who it is, but I don't know if you guys have seen him yet, so I don't want to spoil that. But there's one down there. I think that's like five. There's probably one for each biome inside uh, the map. I actually know another one off the top of my head, but I can't share that with you guys. But anyways, we pick up 150 Tamer XP, which is kind of cool. We get a, a nice boost to our HP, which is nice, and we get 5k money, which is probably the best thing to pick up in all this, other than the stats. Now, because... Uh, because that fight went on for a little while longer, we will have to regen all of our uh, MP again, which kind of sucks a bit, but we're going to be running about looking for... Excuse me. We're going to be running around looking for Marine Angemon's treasure anyway, so... Holy moly. I had my breakfast before I recorded this episode, guys, and uh, as a result, I'm just a mess, but... Oh, look. That actually might be it over there. That's ideal. If that's... If that's for Marine Angemon, this treasure here, then that's perfect. Hopefully these guys aren't close enough to aggro, though. That would be kind of stupid, but... Anyways, let's have a little look. Are you what we need? There's something here. Let's pick it up. So at least you get a... Yeah, <laughs> okay. So at least you get a, a distinguishing piece of dialogue there. We pick up the item, the Bent Spoon, which in comparison to all the other... All the other items that you acquire in this area for Marine Angemon, you know, all the ones that we've picked up prior, the Bent Spoon is obviously insignificant in terms of value compared to, and compared to like the rings that we found, the Heart Ring, I think there was like, ugh, I can't even remember, but all the garbage we've picked up so far, the Bent Spoon is obviously what you would not expect, but is going to be the item that she wants. It's quite, um, it's similar to, it makes me think of Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade. You know when he goes into the room of gold at the end and he has to find like the, the cup, the cup of Christ or whatever it is and obviously everybody thinks it's going to be something beautiful and amazing but it's just a little... Anyways, spoilers for The Last Crusade but go watch that movie because it's quite good. Um, Marine Angemon, let's uh, see if we can stick this spoon up her butt. You handed over the bent spoon. Yes, this is the one. So again, she's thrilled to have her spoon back. I don't know how she lost that. She doesn't have any pockets right enough so it is understandable. I don't know. I was lost without this, baby. You should see the look on your face. How can you eat with a bent spoon? You got it wrong, buddy. Here, take a look. Um, yeah, Marina Angemon scratched his back with a bent spoon. I was going to say that she's uh, that she was using it to eat her porridge or whatever, but uh, apparently she's just um, feeling an itch. Right now, i got to do something to show my appreciation, but hey, have this on me. Uh, I All I have on me is the spoon, so no, I'm not going to part with it. All right, all right, I get it. I'll head to the city. And off she goes. So we hold Marine Angemon prisoner over that, but um, yeah, that is another Digi acquired, which is um, pretty funky. So I think what we should do here is probably, I think it's about high time we went back and fought Vicmon, because I keep talking about it and we haven't actually done it yet, so let's let's nip in here. We're probably going to fight him, and then as soon as the fight is over, I'm going to try and autopilot back, because again, I don't want to fight the Talmon fucking crew right after, so... Let's see how we got on against this guy. I'm pretty sure we should be okay, but you never know. These fights can always go a bit spicy or pear-shaped. But anyways, Vecmon says, Well, now, we've got ourselves a human here. What are you doing around these parts? Now, this is the exact same dialogue as he gave us earlier. Um, we're going to see if... Uh, <laughs> yeah, my name's Vecmon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said this to us before. Um, but we're going to we're gonna say you were a great pirate captain, right? And hope that he gives us a, a different bit of dialogue this time around. Let's see. I get it, you came to ask about the pirate treasure, so yeah, we never had this before, we never had this yesterday. So I guess we had to go back and talk to Demi Devimon and then come back here again. It's kind of a weird interaction, plus he says the exact same thing, so if you're not paying attention, if you're spamming through dialogue, then you would probably miss all that shit, but anyways, sorry to disappoint, but I split my treasure among my crew when we disbanded. There's not a digi Dublon left. Well, that is gone, that's kind of depressing. Obviously, um, Demi Devimon is going to be gutted about that, but anyways, now I enjoy a life of catching fish and living off the sea. Now, that's a clue, but um, a clue for something in the future, things to come, I guess, but he says, there's nothing left. Well, that is, yeah, that's it. If you beat me, I'll tell you what I mean. So he kind of trails off and then he's like, I've got something else to tell you, but I won't tell you until you beat me. So whether or not this is going to be anything exciting, but here we go. Fight time. Let's see how we match up against the Pirate King. This is a quite a difficult fight, guys, and if you don't have EXE, it will be even harder. Hopefully, we can get through it. 
if I can manage to get our order points up as quickly as possible without taking too much damage, then that would be ideal. Obviously, I should have given our Digimon back some MP recovery items before we came in here to make this easier. There is a very, very strong uh, move by the Pirate King, so we'd really have to be paying attention here. If Crusadermon would attack, that would be fantastic. We'll get some points up here. I should probably tell Crusadermon to defend here as well, because it looks like he's going to do something big on us. That is Aurora Freeze, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most powerful moves in the game. Um, and unfortunately, it's transforming Garurumon. Now, we have an item. Do I have it with us? We have a Remedy Disc, yes. All right. Oh, I actually hit both our guys. That's worrying. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this at Garurumon. I probably should have... What is this you're doing, my friend? That's another ice move. All we have to do now is wait for Crusader Mon to change out of that stupid mode, and hopefully we can actually make this fight work. Now Crusader Mon's going to take a bit of a pun, like he's going to take punishment until he comes back, but that is him. Now once the confusion wears off, we will be able to exe. So as long as we can get it off, in fact, can we do it now? Yeah, we can. Okay, so awesome. I thought because she was confused, that was going to prevent us. And I was so worried that he was going to crack down Aurora Freeze on us. Again, which is the move that turns you into the pixel mode. That would have fucked us up so bad. But anyways, here we go. Let's see. We're going to be um, exe in, And hopefully now, when we become our big, badder version of ourselves, this fight should become a lot easier. Let's find out. So again, we get our epic music. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, you can skip over this if you want, guys, but I thought because it's our second time, we may as well see it once again. Again, in case you missed yesterday's episode, this is our newest ability, and we become uberly powerful. This is not uh, this is our final form with these two guys, so yeah. Chaosmon, here he comes. Let's find out how much his ultimate is going to do against Vicmon. Dark Prominence, you're going to feel that tomorrow, Vicmon. There we go. So, that move on its own gets him down to, like, let's say, a third just under a third HP. So, right, what Vicmon's doing now, I think, I'm gonna hit defend here. Yeah, this is something that you can, <laughs> this can happen guys. Vicmon has a limit break too, and if you're not defending in time, you will take a fucking shit ton of damage from that. So whenever he he um, he pops off with his, you know, Dragon Ball Z um, aura move, we need to be paying a massive amount of attention because if he hits us with his limit break, um, we are going to take a lot of damage. Um, I think in, you know, in our EXE mode, it shouldn't be too much of a worry. But um, yeah, still, we don't want to. We don't want to be slapped by it if we can help it. Now we do actually have our limit break again. But what I think I should do here is, well, we're in a comfortable spot. I'm actually going to just try and get this guy to use his ultimate on us again, just for the banner to see how much damage. I, I kind of wanted to let it go off to show you guys how much damage it would do. But at the same time, I'm scared that we end up dying. This guy is actually close to dead, so I think we should just do it in style. Once... Oh, God. That is it. Well, there we go. We're going to get to see it anyway. Arctic Blizzard once again. If you have Vicmon, because Vicmon is a Digimon you can acquire in this game, Arctic Blizzard will be your limit break. And that is something that you would need. Now, luckily, we are far, far too powerful to, to be worrying about that. Um, I think we will put this guy to bed. So that is Vicmon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my one more Shindairu. See you later, boss. There we go. So, have a look at this, ladies and gents. We get 50 Tamer XP, which is kind of shit. I feel like that's kind of woeful. But, on the plus side, look at everything else we get. So, we get full stats, absolutely max stats across the board. This is a very, very difficult fight for our base Digimon level. So, both are Megas when they're in Mega form. Vicmon is classed as a, a way superior enemy, okay? So because of that, we pick up full stats across the board, which is beautiful. Whenever we can get that, we're obviously going to take it. And we get um, basically 5.5k, half, half, half of 10 grand for fighting him, which is just marvellous. He tells us that his uh, pirate treasure is gone and stuff, but we will take that any day of the week. So we pick up Ice Statue as well, which is uh, kind of cool. I wonder if we can get Aurora Freeze. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> oh, God. I, that would have been incredible. But yeah, we'll take we'll take a new move. That's fine, I guess. Ah, a vast. I give uh, playtimes over. Says Vicmon. I'm a mon of my word. I'll tell you about the treasure. I'm covering this, so I will move. This chalice here. It's probably the source of the rumor about some holy chalice. And he's got those in air quotes, which doesn't bode well. During my pirate days, I hold feasts every night with the other sailors. So uh, here's Vicmon telling us all about him and his boys having a wild night every night. That's why it is here. Uh, the chalice filled to the brim with such fond memories is my treasure, the holy chalice. You must think that's pretty silly here. Take this as a symbol of your victory over me. 
and he gives us the holy chalice. No point in indulging in those memories anymore. I'll take this opportunity to turn over a new leaf. I still have plenty to teach you youngins out there. Again, so Vicmon joins the city. Now, what Vicmon does, he has already given us a clue about. It's not that exciting, but it's still pretty cool. I'm going to click X here, and then I'm going to try and dodge the Talmon behind us, uh, and I'm going to try and get to the exit door so that we can stay in Modcape. And if that doesn't work, we might end up having to um, do something funky. Let's find out. So where's my camera? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we should be okay here. Yeah, we're absolutely fine. If we couldn't escape that, then I would be the worst player in the world, but... Okay, now when we come back in, these guys should be reset and we can waddle past them. Again, a very good fight for us to train against if we have EXC available because we absolutely one-shot those bastards. Plus, as I mentioned yesterday, Talmon does have an important move that we want to pick up at some point. Uh, we just can't fight them just now, not without EXE. It sucks to rely on EXE as a crutch, but now that we have lost that ability, um, because we have used it up for the day, we become mortal again, okay? We have to be careful who we bang into. We have to um, kind of avoid the tough fights or we will end up taking a loss, which uh, I want to avoid at all costs. Now, I don't think we have... That's my map. I... That's not the right button either, Jack. Holy fucking... Okay, well, yeah, this is fine. Um... I just wanted to check that we didn't actually have any extra pirate junk in here that we needed to give. Yeah, we do. We actually have one. We'll give uh, Gatomon the red bandana here, the pirate bandana. Oh my god, what did I just give her? What the fuck was that? I buy them at a fair price. Did I, oh, I guess he just rejected it. Alright, fine. I thought I'd give him something important there, but luckily it was okay. We tried to give her a port potty, <laughs> which is funny. A portable toilet. We'll give her the red bandana. What are we getting? 300? Yeah, okay. Excellent. Thanks so much for that. We just made 5.5k from beating the Pirate King, but, um, okay. That's fine. Are you guys really still gonna get in our way? No. No, we just, we just smashed the pipe. What? Alright, guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna navigate back to Demi Devimon. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all this. It looks like we're managing to rugby scrim past these guys, which is, um, pretty hilarious. But, yeah. I'm gonna meet you guys back at Demi Devimon. We're gonna hand over the chalice and find out what happens. We'll see you in a minute. Alright folks, welcome back. This is us about to enter Demi Davimon's cabin. I thought I'd pull you in here because I thought that the Saber Drummond might end up charging us and whatnot. But anyways, what we got in the corner, that is just a green item. That's nothing exciting. And there's nothing over there as well. Alright Demi, what's up, Bo? How's things? Did you find the Holy Chalice? Well, we did indeed. We hand that over. The Holy A Chalice. I don't know if you guys noticed that as well. It's not the Holy with a, you know, like, like, ha, ah, Holy, like religious. It's Holy with an E. Meaning that I guess it has a hole in it. Well, so this worn out thing, don't tell me this is the Holy Chalice. Uh, you related Vicmon's trip down memory lane, so we convey everything that he told us about him and his boys getting wasted every night. And the bunch of alcoholics. The great pirate Vicmon, of all people, thinks of memories as treasures. What a crazy romantic. But I guess that's pirates for you, completely out of touch with reality. There goes, there go my dreams of uh, living eat on easy street, I guess. Oh well, I'll see what more uh, moolah I can scrounge up in the city. God, <laughs> words. Demi Davimon joined the city as well. Alright guys, interesting. So we have accomplished a lot of things in Modcape um, during the last two episodes. We haven't obviously completed it. There's still more we can do. Zudomon's here. We have Aerovidramon. We have Stingdramon. Uh, Stingmon, sorry. And we have Paladramon as well. And uh, other Digimon will appear here later on in the game too. So for the time being, I think we can leave Modcape. I would have loved to have grabbed Zudomon as well, but it's not possible until we complete his uh, his quest as well which is to speak to gummy gumdramon or something like that in mod cape gummy not mod cape in logic volcano <sighs> anyways we have a bunch of new city residents so we're going to ping around and talk to some of these guys before we wrap up the episode i think i've also collected the meat for the day here as well so we don't have to do any of that boring shit you guys will be pleased to know you're back wolfie i have good news demi devimon has come back to felicia and he's went to the business district it seems he has an interest in the city's economy. So it looks like he's going to be pairing up with Etamon, perhaps, in the stock market. That's to do with economy, right? Vicmon has also joined the city. He's gone to the fishing hole, and he really knows a lot about uh, the hobby. Interesting. Marine Angemon is our third resident to come, to come back. Uh, and she's made herself comfortable at the hospital. Hmm. Maybe she wants to be a mascot or something. Now, I actually had a guide on Marine Angemon back in the day here on the channel. It still is there. And, uh, yeah, Marine angemon has got quite a f uh, an interesting function, and we, we might end up using that at some point as well. So, now our city's prosperity is now 51, and things are starting to get exciting. So, a couple of things to note, guys. While we run around and chat to all these guys, uh, I should probably feed my Digimon as well, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> these guys have done a bunch of uh, good work recently, so uh, they definitely deserve it. Sam, 
There is your meat, my friend. And uh, Joe, you can just have meat as well. Why the fuck not? Alright, so a couple of things to note, guys. Um, just before we nip around and talk to people. Inside the warehouse, I should show you guys that we have uh, enough hunks of meat to go to Aguino Wastelands. I've been collecting these from the farm. Uh, and basically, we can take these. I think it's only 22 he needs. We could always check our... I'll check the uh, email off screen, but I'm pretty sure it's 20 that we need. Um, on top of hunks of meat, we also need best meat. Okay, which I'm now growing in the farm. I planted that earlier this morning. We only collect two a day, but I ploughed the fields and that improved that. So we should get a little bit more. I think it was one a day. I ploughed the fields once with our guys, uh, Joe and Sam, and then it, it went up to two. So we can collect like four a day because I have two planted. I know I'm spamming a bunch of shitties right now, but that should be fine. So we have the hunk of meat. We're working our way towards the best meat. And then we also need to grow rotten meat as well. So soon we will have enough of those. And we should be able to go back to the Aguina Wastelands. And um, basically cash in on all those Digimon. And hopefully get some stuff off them. What do we want to do here? I could probably deposit the best meat and the hunk of meat. Um, the orange bananas will sell. Digi bitterlings we can sit and put in as well. And unlucky shroom. Yep, yep. We'll keep those because we can sell those for sure. I've started... Um, I've started thinking that we should probably keep a medicine with us wherever we go, guys, because although we have access to the clinic, sometimes when we're out and about, it becomes very annoying having to run back. Um, well, here we go as well. This is interesting. So, when we were in the builder yesterday, I think, or the day before, we set an upgrade for the item shop. So, that looks like that is also ready for us now as well, which is fantastic. We can pop in there and hopefully we can have a look at some of the new items that are available to us. So, very good. Everything's working out. I like this a lot. I like when things go smoothly because uh, when they don't go s when they don't go smoothly, I start getting stressed. But here we go. Here is Tentamon. The item shop is open. Take a uh, take a look around. So obviously, because we have now upgraded them, he's got this extra line. Let's um. What I'm gonna do here, guys, is I always cover the item shop, which um, annoys me when I watch it back. So I'm gonna sell our orange bananas here, make an extra two k, which is kind of nice. I could sell the medicine, but as I just said, I want to keep that. We'll try and make some space in our inventory. And now we can have a look at what we can actually buy from this guy. Because his his stock should be a lot better now. Or at least a little bit. So we now have access to large recoveries. Which is absolutely um, fantastic for us in our mega form. So we have two auto pilots. I'm going to buy one more of those just on the off chance. That we need them later. We can also buy large MP discs which is fantastic. We also have a stealth chip available to us now. Which is, which is the last new item we have. Temporarily makes it difficult for minor enemies to spot you. So if you're worried about getting in battles all the time You can pop one of these and basically you don't have to worry about um, random encounters, which is really really nice So large recoveries these recover 5,000 as opposed to medium so um, a massive um, boost there. It's almost like 33% I think right Um less than that, but you know pretty good um, Yeah, large recovery is a lot better I'm gonna pop down here again now that you guys have kind of seen the the new the new stock, but we we kind of want to buy some of these. We don't want to buy like a massive stock because we if we do we will um we will get rid of all of our money, which doesn't seem sensible. So we'll buy five, um and we'll buy four of these as well, and that'll kind of keep us going for the time being. We are not mega rich. We can only buy in little installments of cash, or we can only play with a little bit. But you know, it is what it is. Here's somebody who can maybe help us with our cash problems. We have Demi Devimon. I followed the scent of money all the way here. This is the business district and it looks so wonderful. Money gives birth to culture and splendour and helps breed happiness. A well-mannered bunch like you might not know what I'm talking about. So it's funny how Demi Devimon goes from being a pirate to being, you know, a financial expert or whatever. It's the same with Etamon who went from being like a rap god or whatever. Now he's dealing with finances and stuff. I don't know. Bit of a joke really, but anyways. Not that musicians and financial wizards can't be the, the same person, it's just extremely unlikely. Basically, I need to get this economy going, I'll help you do it too. So let's chat to him again now that he's finished with his spiel. Your current market value is zero. Be honest, you've got some work to do. Come back when you sell about 10,000 and I'll give you something for your trouble. So Demi Devimon is basically going to reward us for using the stock market, which we haven't really used up until this point. We haven't had that much money. So uh, today is not actually a good day to visit the stock market. Because all of the things that we can buy from Etamon are um, red or white. Now, the stock market isn't that exciting, but basically you want to buy when it's blue and then sell when it's red. That's pretty much, um, I think, that's the basics of any kind of stock buying thing. You buy the items when they're cheap and then you sell them when they're expensive. Now, the last person we have to um, speak to is actually Marine Angemon, who is in the clinic. So if I take ourselves back down to the hospital, we should be able to speak to her. Yeah, she's in the corner here on top of the counter. Let's talk to Marine Angemon and see what she's got to say. I'm just going to take it easy around here. Don't worry, I'll pull my weight. Remember to keep an eye on your partner's life. By the way, I can do something that might help you with that. So, basically, what Marine Anjumon does here 
Like she can transform a life total from one Digimon to the other. Now, you might be thinking, why on earth would you want to do that? But basically, this is like a way for you to slowly um, fix a, a gap in between your Digimon. So let's say you have a champion and a mega, or let's say you have a baby and a champion, and you know your Digimon are constantly out of sync. You can basically give life um, from the, the young Digimon to the old one to make the older one last longer and help, help the gap kind of narrow. So that, you know, the younger one will grow older, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll kind of be in sync. If you do it, like, slowly over time, you should be able to fix any gaps. Now, there is a better way to fix any differentiation you have later on. But it's a bit more harsh and it's a bit more um, cutthroat, shall we say. But if you don't want to use that, Marine Angemon is available to us now. So if we have any gaps, let's say one of our Digimon is getting older. Um, and the other one is still around for a while, we can use Marine Angemon to kind of balance that out a little bit more. But... I think that's pretty much it with Demi Devimon. We spoke to Marine Angemon. Who's the last guy? Oh, Vicmon, of course. Let's pop back up to um up to this part. We're going to the fishing hole. Did I just go into the arena? Yeah, I did. One idiot. All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's chill back out here. We'll speak to this big guy. What's he got to say for himself? Do we actually have an item from Gurudamon? I think we do actually, right? What's up, buddy? I'm in the middle. Oh, okay. <sighs> My bad. It doesn't look like he's in the middle of a hunt. It looks like he's sitting at his desk. But here we go. Vicmon taking up a massive portion of the fishing area. Let's talk to this guy and see what he's got to say for himself. What's up, bro? You settling in here, you look a bit crushed in that corner. You're like one of the biggest Digimons I've ever seen and yet here you are standing in the smallest part of the city. Wolfie, don't you think it would be a real luxury to be able to fish in town? I love fishing, I want to do everything I can to help. Come on back when you've got room to spare, I'll be waiting for you. Wait, do we not have any fucking room in our inventory? This is actually quite good, guys, because there's something I've been meaning to do for a while now. If I can get into my inventory, guys. There we go. Um. We have 11 out of... Why? I don't understand. Hello? Can you give us... Welcome, I have something for you. Let me explain the method. All right. I guess we just had to come back. You will need to fish uh, three black digi trout, but in that time, you can't leave the area or load data. Of course, food and porta potties, etc. are your own responsibility. So basically, there's this kind of mini challenge where we have to catch black trouts. Um, I don't know if we want to do this just now. I guess we could probably give it one go and see how long it's going to take. Although I'm pretty sure this is going to be something that we need to do over time. So maybe we actually leave that for the time being. Fuck it, let's try it. We'll, we'll do this as like an end of episode thing. And if it doesn't look like it's going to work out, then we'll skip. But fishing does take up real time, guys. So if you have Mega Digimon like we do, you don't really want to be wasting your time. Let's pop across the bank too and use a feather lure. Because this is the best area that we have. And it's also the best lure we have. Now, what I think, what I think um, Vicmon does is I think that he gives you a better fishing rod, I'm pretty sure, as his reward. But I could be I could be wrong on that front. I don't think this is actually working. If you walk in and out the area, guys, it means that, uh, you know, you don't get a notification or anything. Uh, there's a Digiloach. Yeah, I think this could be, this could take a while. If, if, you, um, if you walk outside the area and stuff, guys, you will reset it. You won't get a warning or anything, but it means if you've caught, like, two black trout and then you come back in, you will, uh, it'll reset, so you won't be able to give all of those to Vicmon. I think you have to catch them in one setting and not leave the area like he said. And then once you do that, he will give you the reward. So, um, we're going to see what we get here, but honestly, this looks like it's going to be absolutely fruitless. All right, we're going to tell Vicmon that we love him, but fuck his challenge for now because he's been a dumbass. Let's pop down to uh, the entrance hall and kind of uh, talk about a couple of things because I think one last thing we can do before we wrap this episode up is have a quick peek at our tamer points. In fact, can you give me an autopilot yet? We'll give you a present five times. You haven't used it. Okay, well, that feels good. We can also upgrade in the builder as well. Let's uh, let's do that real quick. I keep changing my mind, but then I remember other things I could be doing. So let's do this. Let's do this too. Hey, ready to rebuild some facilities, blah, 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 blah. We could upgrade the warehouse, which seems sucky. Um, what we got in here? We're not close to that, unfortunately. The stock market we could maybe upgrade, but that seems like a bit weird. We're probably never going to use anything in the advanced item shop because I'm pretty sure that is like... That'll be like Garurumon stuff, so right now it's only Digivolution items. The field we can uh, upgrade if we find more Digisat, but we only have two of those, which I'm pretty sure we had the last time. We could put on the Digivolution Dojo for an upgrade. I think that actually seems like a really good upgrade, so let's do that. Uh, and we'll visit Leomon later on, but yeah. Alright guys, it's been a good couple of episodes. As I said, I want to do one last thing before we wrap up, but it's not that exciting. Anyways, let's go into our Tamer skills and have a look at this stuff, because... Um, 
we have eight points to spare and I think that we could probably put this into something useful. I'm thinking that eventually we need to do love injection, which is this one, um, for our um, rebirth cycle. Uh, we could also increase natural life, which is obviously very, very important for our megas and actually accomplishing things around the world. That being said, if I make our lives too long at this point, we're going to have the same Digimon for the entire playthrough, so I'm probably not going to pick that one just now. Um, we could definitely benefit from having extra item space, and although this, although this is something I wouldn't normally prioritise, I think it actually would help out, um, especially when we're carrying about guff-like quest items and stuff. Our inventory is naturally expanding as we enter new areas and acquire new things, so we should probably have a look at that. Trainer stuff, we don't need to worry about any of this shit because we can get all our stats from training. Our life care, we don't need to worry about happiness or anything like that. Um, I guess these are like... I guess this one could actually be really good boosts effects from scolding and praising. Now that we're max bonding stuff, it doesn't really matter, but this is something we should probably look at later on. We shouldn't forget about that one. Survivor, again, I want to put points into these harvesting ones, but I mean, five each is just so expensive, guys. I don't think we can justify that. We could also take cooking and start cooking and shit. If we are going to be doing fishing stuff, we could do that as well, but I think we should leave all this jazz because it's really not that important. Item uh, posts. I mean, items is quite nice. Um... Uh, let me see. We should also probably consider taking extra moves because that will help us, uh, you know, like this one. Third order. This should be quite good for us. There's a lot of things we can do, guys. I think what I'm actually going to do, though, is uh, put extra points into our backpack, which um, could be a mistake, but we're starting to fill up on inventory quite a lot these days, and so it just makes kind of sense, but... For the most part, that is us, guys. Thank you so much for watching the episode. We have uh, accomplished more stuff in Mod Cape today, and I think that tomorrow we are going to be able to accomplish more things elsewhere. I want to go to Logic Volcano at some point. I want to head back to Bonnie Resort with the shopping list and also fight a couple of Digimon that are in that area too. And probably also advance our main quest. That's something that we should definitely consider doing the next episode as well. So... I kind of baited you guys and said that we might um, enter a new area this episode. But don't worry, well, first of all, I apologise that I baited you guys, but we will definitely be doing that next episode, okay? Because, uh, as you can see down here in the bottom, Rika is waiting for us at 4X Machina. We have done a couple of extra episodes where we run about and acquire big digis, which is great because it gives us stats and money. But I think we should also advance our quest as well, especially when we have EXE available to us and all that good stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Let me know all your thoughts, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.